Okay. Well, I found a church. Don't wanna go there yet. I wanna look around. Hello. Don't mind if I raid the church for goodies. Scrolls. Still said I didn't get to burn anything down. Shut up. I'm looking for shit. I know there's a note there, but I want to look in the drawers first. What's this? Twin candles bent to the will of the central saint, casting their light to the corners of the chapel. Father Jeremiah, I thought I could be trusted with the secret, but he is like all of the others. So the old priest has gone to the holding pens with his flock. He says he will enter into our world with them. A shepherd indeed. Twin candles. Piggy. Okay, so I gotta look for twin candles. This apparent they, this game seems to like its little hints in messages, like that whole bear thing back there. Your faith shackles your vision, Professor. It is an iron coffin that keeps you from grasping the future. We require a new deity, one of steam and the wheel of magnetism and progress. The old god is nothing more than a lamed hog, spitting back offal at mankind. Yeah. Gross. Alright. Oh, cool. <clears throat> hey, Jesus. Stop it. Yes, I get it. You're quite loud. It's lovely. Would you shut up, please? The rock eggs? Why can I pick the candle? This is what I was looking for, it was a note. Ah, Father Jeremiah's journal. They flock to us now, where once I had to walk amongst them to bring salvation into their lives. Now, drawn by warmth and winter, by the food that Mandis distributes, my church is full and my charges are saved. He walks amongst them. They almost worship him. He will not allow them to work in his factories, claiming that his workforce are specially trained for the new machinery he uses, and that it will be irresponsible, nay, unethical, to risk such precious lives as he sees here. A changed man sits Mexico. It is to be praised that he is that in the face of such appalling tragedy and from the confines of his sickbed, as he is often chained to, he conducts one of the greatest and most benevolent charities in all of London. Not content with the rise to become the dominant food produce business in the land, he distributes his goodwill, his fares, to the poor, and they congregate about his kingdom in gratitude. So, he acts like a nice guy, but he's really not, I take it. Anyway, I'm guessing I need this. Because this game is a lot less interactivity than The Dark Descent. I only seem to be able to interact with chairs and doors and things I need. Hello. Apparently Jesus was a pig. Good to know. Open. No. Be that way. Oh, candle. Candles? Locked. Uh. Hmm. Books. I'm using 
this turned inward. Or was it outward? Inward. I heard something came from over here. Oh! That is a very dumb way to light a fire. I mean, really. Whoa. Okay, that's cool. Can I... Are you gonna close behind me? I kinda hope you do, because I saw something behind me that I didn't like. I probably want to eat my face. Speaking of which... Oh good. It did close. Hello. Ooh. Is this where the monster comes in? This looks promising. Oh. Listen, Papa. Hold the egg to your ear. You can hear the sea. Is there not sure it's not a seashell then, kid? Also, are you Enoch or the other one that I cannot remember the name of now? Figures. <laughs> I remember the one that's. Okay, I'm guessing the flickering means something. Surprises me that I don't need oil, but I guess it is more advanced. What exhumation this is, what rotten feud, what bestitching of parts. I doubt I will ever be found, yet I leave you this scrawled in the malodorous half-light whilst my tormentor shuffles below. My fellow prisoners keen and squeal in the gloom. And where I wait for the knocking upon my cage, it signifies it is finally my turn to make that dark journey into the interior. Um... No! no, thank you. Buddy, if, you, if you're trying to open the cage, it's Aloha Mora. Hmm. Hello? Okay, so we got people in cages. Like pigs. Oh boy. Okay, I can't see shit. I'm guessing I don't want to run into that thing. It will probably eat me. Or something. Eat me, kill me. Murder me. It will be bad for me in some way or another. And I thought maybe I could hide in that cage, but I guess not. Screw you then. I guess he says there's not a limit on the light, it's how the things find me easier. I did say be careful what the beam attracts, I guess. Oh, shut up, baby! You're not a pig. You're a piglet. Go play with Pooh Bear. Oh, apples. 
At least you get apples. I guess. Alright. Uh. <sighs> teeny tiny chest. You are ugly. Oh, fuck. Well, I'm dead. Oh. That was lucky. I'm just gonna turn the corner and look at me and just rip my face off. Whew. <laughs> that was lucky. First encounter with a monster that didn't look at me and scare the shit out of me and make me make a very embarrassing noise like in the first amnesia. And so to the stoking. Pulling cogwheels now, sneezed into his handkerchief when the dust got into his eyes. I have begun to change more rapidly now, he surmised. Hmm. So changes. I can actually look at the enemies. Uh, yeah, they're ugly. Just as handsome as Lumpy was. 